estimating a serial mediation model with process. Imagine that we hypothesized that age affects political interest, political interest affects news site use, and news site use affects reading time. The effect of age on reading time, then, is mediated by two mediators in serial. We can estimate this model with process. Analyze, regression, process. Now we have to select model 6. Model 6 is for serial mediation. Number of bootstrap samples is OK, the confidence level is OK, so we can enter our variables. Reading time is our outcome variable. H is our predictor or independent variable, and now the order of the mediators matters. We have to include the first mediator first, so political interest comes before new side use. Under options, again, select effect size and use three decimal places. OK. If some of your variable names have more than 8 characters, select the Long Variable Names option. Be a little bit patient. And here is our output. First of all, it informs us about the model that we've estimated, model number 6, with reading time as the outcome variable, and two serial mediators, interest in politics and new site use. Then it presents the results of all the regression analysis that process has done for us. The first one predicts political interest from age, and we can add the unstandardized coefficient 0.10 to the path model. The second regression model regresses the new site use on both age and political interest, so it uses all antecedent variables as predictors as it should do. We have a positive effect of political interest on new site use, 0.14, with a confidence interval between 0.08 and 0.90, but we have a negative effect of age, minus 0.94. Note that this effect of age on the second mediator was not hypothesized, but it is included in the estimation. The third and last regression model regresses reading time on all antecedent variables, political interest, new site use, and age. Again, we can add the unstandardized coefficients to the path model. According to the p-value and the confidence intervals, the effects are unlikely to be zero in the population, so they're either positive or negative. The direct effect of age on newspaper reading time is repeated, 4.55, and now we have three different indirect effects. There are three paths through the path model, including one or two mediators, and they are marked by int1, indirect effect 1, int2, and int3. At the bottom of the output, there is a key to the indirect effects. The first one is from age to political interest, and then straight on to reading time. The second one is age to new site use to reading time. And the third one is the original path, including both mediators. We see that the total of indirect effects is 1.47. An additional 10 years of age increases the predicted reading time by 1.47 minutes through the indirect pass. And this effect is mainly due to the indirect effect from age directly to new site use to reading time. There are standardized effects, and in this case we would interpret the completely standardized indirect effect because age is a numerical variable. And here we see that the effect is weak to moderate, 0.22 and it's nearly exclusively due to the indirect effect of age on new site use on reading time. Well, this concludes our interpretation of the path model and the indirect effects. If we want to check the assumptions, we have to re-estimate the models in SPSS and then have a look at the graphs with the residuals.